In the 1960s and 70s, many workers from the subcontinent were attracted to Oldham, a small town known for its cotton mills. The vision and determination was to create a better future for the next generation. The newly arrived Asian community, particularly from East and West Pakistan, purchased and established Oldham's first place of worship that would bring the community together for their spiritual and communal needs. It would go on to be the first Islamic center in Oldham, initially known as simply Oldham Mosque and then Nusratul Islam Mosque. Before 64, there were no mosques at all in, in Oldham, at all whatsoever. And if they were celebrating Eid, they were going out there hiring either the churches or we used to call a co-op. Then they come up with an idea, let's have a mosque. And the first mosque was they come up with was on to Churchill Street, number 16, I remember. Which was a small terrace house with one room because it was next to Anglican Church. We used it for about 12 months without planning permission because the church would cover us and saying it's part of their extensions. It was really good community cohesion, if you like, at that time. In 65, it was then owned and, and, and uh, declared as the Nusra Mosque in 1965. The only reason we left Churchill Street was the government was going to knock down the whole street. We bought two houses on uh, Hardy Street, Kersley Street corner. So that was even smaller than the Churchill Street. And we didn't have that many children. We're looking at maybe 80 to 100 children. I तीन ग्रुप होते थे सिपारे में भी तीन ग्रुप होते थे तो बच्चे नमाज भी नमाज जब जी फिर माने के साथ नमाज उर्दू की तालीम भी जारी थी वी रियलाइज्ड दैट द मॉस्क वाज इन डेंजर ऑफ कोलैप्सिंग बिकॉज़ द सेलर द वाटर बीन सीपिंग इनटू द सेलर जिसले साडे कोल हार्डी स्ट्रीट मस्जिद सी उस वक्त ते ए साडे कोल कोई पैसा नहीं थी ओनली 14 1000 पाउंड सी जिस वेले स्टार्ट मस्जिद सी शुरू की थी है फिर अल्लाह पाक ने ना बड़ा साडे ते करम कीता बहुत ही करम कीता जेडी मस्जिद सा सी कंप्लीट कर ले वी डेवलप दिस मॉस्क एज अ सिंगल फ्लोर व्हिच इज वेयर वी आर सेटिंग नाउ वी रियलाइज्ड दैट देयर वाज टू सेक्शन ऑफ कम्युनिटी दैट वाज कंप्लीटली आई यू नो एक्सक्लूडेड फ्रॉम हियर व्हिच वाज वुमेन एंड यंग पीपल सो वी डिसाइडेड दैट एक्चुअली वी नीड टू एक्सपैंड ऑन दैट so we then decided we want to build a hall exclusively for women, which we just completed this Ramadan. From such humble beginnings, Nusratul Islam Mosque has gone from strength to strength to become a pillar for the community. Its charitable efforts, education and strong voice for all sections of the community, particularly women and young people, has aided the current level of activity both in and out the mosque. Every day if you come in, you will never find mosque empty. There'll always be something happening in our mosque. I'm a volunteer for Human Aid. Uh, alhamdulillah, we just, um, with the help of history and Nusratul Islam, uh, we managed to raise two ambulances, two full ambulances, uh, that will be going over to Syria. These ambulances are going to Syria and they're going to help the children and families in Syria. We only started off with only one ambulance and alhamdulillah the response was so amazing that we were able to fundraise three four ambulances. This is part of the unity convoy. We did the Ramadan food pack. Alhamdulillah I think we reached more than a hundred packs. They had items like oil uh, and rice and tomato sauces. Knowing that we packed with our own hands and people are gonna eat and people are gonna survive of our, uh, of our hard work, of the little that we done knowing that, I think that was the reward in itself. of a primary and secondary tuition. Secular education and Islamic education, they go hand in hand. We, we have this motto, the best in deen and the best in dunya. You can do the reading shapes, you can play games. This helps me to learn. It goes, uh, it goes over the stuff that I've been learning in school. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu classes take place every Saturday and Sunday. Uh, girls classes on a, a Saturday, uh, boys classes on a Sunday. Nice to see that the children come in and they participate and uh, seeing the jiu-jitsu class as well, I've seen that my children really, really enjoy it. Uh, the classes are very fun, uh, you know, they, they get to learn and they get to enjoy themselves as well. Kids are so eager to take part and usually these kids who are taking part in our sessions are kids who usually would have the opportunity. Access to these things are very difficult for our children because they come from very poor backgrounds. 
uh, times we, we don't even make a profit on some of our activities. Many times we make a loss. In the last year, we've started football training sessions. Blessings every second, so many lessons got me turning to the heavens. I'm really happy about um, my uh, education and uh, we do lots of fun, fun activities. Everyone's loving the, the relationship that they have with the Masjid and it's really important for us. We're making a, a really good effort and you can see our community is essential. understanding for our community used to be is for our generation to read the Quran and finish the Quran, that's it. But what we are doing now on a daily basis is uh, we deliver further education as well as the uh, basic education. The boys and girls, they spend over 10 years um, in a madrasa. So it's so important that that madrasa caters and it delivers the knowledge, the, the dini education to that child. In 2010, we had about 70 students, and now in 2017, Alhamdulillah, we have 370 students. We have a waiting list of over 50 to 60. In the primary maktab, they would learn the basics. Hadith, surahs, masayil, kalimas, tajweed, it's a really good class, and I enjoy masjid. The secondary maktab, they will be covering over a period of six years over 1,000 hadith of Rasulullah We want them to have sufficient knowledge of the deen. When I was five years old, I was studying Qaeda. Then from Qaeda, I've been going to us and higher and higher. And now I'm in Afi class. I've been learning a lot in this mosque. It's not a curriculum that we've taken from another place. So we've had to make this own, we've had to make this ourselves. And the Bajis gives their exams at the end of the year, so they kind of know what we're on and what we're struggling with. From what I've seen is the shift is quite big, it's, it's massive. The kind of curriculum now is more structured, and there's a lot more offered on it, uh, there's a lot more covered. And also as well, that the texts that are actually used uh, are a lot more comprehensive as well. I would say it's unique um, because we have the primary madrasa and we have the secondary madrasa. And this is why we have a 12-year syllabus. Families naturally, they outgrow. You know, we start off with one kid, two kids. we start off with a two-bedroom house. Eventually, we, you know, nobody is going to be happy living with, uh, having three or four children and living in a small house. Good education, uh, it, it has certain demands and part of that is having a, a conducive environment in which to be able to deliver the education. Without the extra space, we won't be able to uh, fulfil the dream, which is to have from year one up to year 12. The overall cost just for this project is costing us £236,000. We have already got some of the money, I would say about £50,000. So you're talking about another £200,000 that we're raising. Anybody who wants to donate to us should be confident that the money they donate to us will actually go towards the mosque. In nine months time, this will be complete. If people see the work starting, we felt that, yeah, people will really re realize what's going on. So donate and be part of this masjid. Today, we face a choice, a choice to sit back or move forward. By moving forward, you will help shape the next generation as they navigate through what is arguably the most difficult time for Muslims in recent history. It is critical that this extension takes place and on schedule. So step forward and be a part of the next phase of this crucial development of the Nusratul Islam Mosque.